going to be practicing metric to metric conversions. And the key for that is to just memorize what order the metric prefixes go in, or basically remember this number line. So when we sit down to take a quiz or anything, we're going to put the basic unit right here. And again, this could be liter or meter or gram. Then we're going to remember the order milli, micro, nano, pico. So milli is M, micro is a funny looking M, nano, pico, and kilo is on the other side. So if we remember milli, micro, nano, pico, kilo on this side, and also remember that the word without a prefix is right here. And then there are three decimal places in between each one of these prefixes. So if we convert 75 milligrams to grams, we're just going to start here at milli and move three places to the left because the unit that we're converting to is grams. So again, this would be 75. The decimal is here, three places left. We put a decimal here, fill in a zero, and 75 milligrams is 0 0.075 grams. Okay. Uh, a common unit that we're going to convert between would be liters and milliliters. So if you have a 750 milliliter container that has a beverage in it. If we want to convert 750 milliliters to liters, again, milli is here. We're going to move from milli to the unit liter. And we'll do that by moving the decimal one, two, three places to the left. 750 milliliters becomes 0.75 liters. And when we are Paying attention to significant figures, 750 only has two significant figures because that zero is not significant because there's no decimal in the number. So when we move the decimal to the left to convert from milliliters to liters, we're not going to keep this zero that's um, to the right of the five. So we started with two significant figures. And when we convert, we still have two significant figures. And again, on the quiz or test, as long as we can reproduce this number line and put our tick marks here, milli, micro, nano, pico, and kilo is on the other side. And then it's not a bad idea to label those liter, gram, or meter.